Hi honeys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be trying out the new Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette by Huda Beauty and she also came out with bronzers which is kind of like a mix of a bronzer and a blush. We've also got some new faux filter glosses and a colour changing face gloss. I thought it would be fun to try it all on here, maybe it would be helpful for you guys if you are considering purchasing these because this is definitely an investment so let's see what makeup we can create with this. So I came across a video from Huda herself and she was saying that this is the last large eyeshadow palette that they will be doing and it's limited edition. These have almost become a collector's item. They are very very stunning eyeshadows and honestly if I'm going for a special occasion I'm either picking up Huda Beauty or Makeup by Mario eyeshadow. You know especially for like the matte shades. In this palette we do have a lot of cool tones but the shimmery shades look stunning. I personally have been really into like silvery shades. Anytime I Wear silver sparkle on my lid you guys are always up my ass asking me like what the hell i've got on my lid um i just feel like it's very complimentary on all skin tones almost but let's say you don't want to like go too cool toned you have some more like almost warmer shades you've got some dark shades to create just like a simple look with a gold shadow if that's what you prefer but overall i would say definitely a lot of cool tones so if that is not your vibe then you probably won't like this palette i do love the packaging the packaging is stunning it's giving 90s i'm gonna start with some p louise eye base here are different like eye looks you can potentially create with this eyeshadow palette so you, you definitely got a mix like a very wearable eyeshadow looks but more like glam i would say i think since we are testing out i'm gonna do one fully glam eye, eye eyeshadow side and then we'll try more wearable on the other okay first shade i'm gonna grab is unapologetic i'm gonna press this on the outer corner but i mean as you can see very 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 pigmented and they're very very nice to blend grabbing a clean brush to blend out those edges when i do my eyeshadow i really like a soft blown out edge look at that i'm gonna bring it a little bit higher okay then i'm gonna take a bit of i don't know i really like the way that looks but i'm gonna take she's rich which is the deeper shade in the eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna blend this kind of like close to the lash line she is deep oh <gasps> look at that blend okay now the hard question is what shimmer are we gonna put with this okay let's try aurora which is like very pinky shade that is beautiful that is so stunning and then i'm going to take shade vvs which is more like a, a very chunky guitar and i'm just going to put that really like in the lower inner corner and then i'm going to go back with she's rich just to add more depth to the outer corner and then a bit of unapologetic just to clean up this bit i'm very very happy with that so so stunning i just feel like anyone can work with these shadows they're so easy to blend to work with the shadows are so pigmented i mean i have no complaint i'm genuinely like curious like do you guys still wear eyeshadow often because i feel like it was such a thing like in 2016 but i feel like people are more about that clean girl aesthetic see that the 2016 makeup is slowly coming back but i feel like on a daily basis people are just like really into that clean girl aesthetic and eyeshadow is really just for special occasion especially for me at least so i'm genuinely curious like do you guys wear a lot of eyeshadow still or do you just keep it for like wedding special events do you wear eyeshadow to work i'm genuinely curious because i don't know about you guys but i don't see anyone in my workplace wearing makeup i'm gonna tell you that there's only that one i'm that girl but there's only like two or three people that i see like wearing a bit of makeup but like do some people wear eyeshadow? I don't know. I guess it also depends where you work. Let's do a more wearable look for the girls that more like me who wear more natural makeup. I wouldn't say this is for every day, but let's say you're more into that softer look. I'm gonna go in with the shade High Life. She's like a taupe. I'm gonna blend that on the outer corner and kind of bring it in the crease as well. Yeah. Really like blend out the edges. That is a very, very pretty shade, I'm not gonna lie look at that blended so beautifully i don't know what shade to go for on the lid let's take a little bit of unapologetic and like really just put this on the outer corner ever so slightly now i really want to take bling 
which almost just feels like a glitter, to be honest. <gasps> yeah. The closest thing I have to this is made by Mitchell Drip Drip, but this is like an eyeshadow form. I don't know if you, you guys are going to be able to see it, but like it's like the most beautiful sparkle. She's pretty, guys. She's pretty. So that's just a bit of a like a play around with some of the shades in here. I mean, like I said, you can create something super like natural and glam. Or you can go all out. Obviously, I'm not obligated to post about this or say anything positive about it. I get sent these so that I can test them out and give you my thoughts on them. And yes, I feel very, very blessed to receive this because I've just been a die-hard Huda Beauty fan since day one. This palette is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know if they do it still, like the Rose Gold Remastered palette. I think that is my number one. I'm not going to lie, lately I have been reaching out for more shades like this rather than the golds and stuff. I'm just gonna replicate this eye here and I'll be right back. Okay, that is both eyes done. Look how stunning the eyeshadow is. I'm in close so you guys can see. We have two new shades in the blush filters. They're kind of giving like bronzer vibes, so a mix of a blush and a bronzer. We have the shade Latte and Coco Loco. This is Latte, this is Coco Loco. I think I'm gonna go with the Coco Loco one. Okay, I've just blended that out. Okay, it definitely has like a purple tint to it. It's not just like brown. I'm just using a, like a stippling brush to like really diffuse it. And then just going in with my beauty blender to kind of touch up the edges. I really like the blush filters. I think my most favorite shade is watermelon, but this is really nice as well. But like I said, it's a mix of a bronzer and a blush. I really, really like it. And we have the face gloss. I think if you want an all matte look, this is not going to be for you. But this just gives the most beautiful shine to the cheeks, to the skin. Great for days when you're not wearing a lot of makeup. This has a pH pigment which adjusts to all skin tones. Just like this. I don't know if you can tell from this. You guys know me. You you know I love a dewy cheek. Do you guys remember, do you guys remember when I used to wear the Ciate Dewy Stick? in all of my videos because it just get, gave like a really nice dewy shine. It does kind of look like a Petri dish, you know, the bacterial Petri dish. I think that's what it's called. But that's beside the point. Let's just say it's the science in there that's gonna like do all the magic on the skin. I'm just gonna take it with my finger like this and just put it like so. Can you see that shine? I love that. Especially on days where I'm very wearing makeup. It's on my nose. And it's the pink is actually very pigmented for this kind of product. But like I said, if you're more of a matte girly, then you're probably not going to like this. Then finally, we have three new shades in the faux filter shimmer glosses. And create kind of like a fill, filler effect on the lips because I think it fills in like the lines, the natural lines that you have. Okay, so the first shade we have is She Glitzy. That is beautiful. It's beautiful and it actually goes so well with this look. It's like a, a milky gloss, I would say. Then we have She Flirty, which is like perfect, like peachy, pinky nude. I would definitely wear these with lip liner, by the way, but I just want to show you the colors individually. I don't know if like the lighting is catching the sparkle on these, but they're insane. And finally, we have a very dark chocolatey one. This one's She fire anytime i wear a color like this i feel like i'm giving major auntie vibes i don't know what it is i just feel like it don't suit me like the chocolate brown is just not for me i don't like it on me i'm not gonna lie i don't like it but if you're into this color this is what she looks like i think the first one's the winner for me though that that first one let's put some huda beauty lip contour in rich brown and then again she glitzy 90s <clears throat> guys it's so pretty i love this whole look like guys i'm ready to go out by the way i did put some of the the deep shade from the palette on my lash, lash line i just blended it quickly and put some mascara and this is the final look i loved everything 
everything that I tried except for maybe this color of um, the faux filter gloss and I don't think the lighter shade would be dark enough in the uh, latte shade. Will I be using it? Yes for sure. Yeah I have nothing bad to say honestly. What is there bad to say about this look? I don't know. Anyways, thanks for sticking around with me whilst I play with all of this makeup. On My thoughts on the palette is, yes, she's an investment, but if you're a Huda Beauty fan, you like cool tone shadows, especially like silvery tones, then I think you would really like it. I mean, she is 62 pounds. It's the last one. I mean, it's the last one. It's limited edition. I don't know. I've never been disappointed by the uh, eyeshadow palettes by Huda Beauty so they're, they're really good eyeshadow palettes it's just it's just whether you want to fork out 62 pounds on a palette I tell you that the quality is there even when you hold the palette it's you can feel it that it's like genuine good quality I'm really happy with it I really like it genuinely like I will be using it and like the eyeshadow just speaks for itself I don't really need to say much you saw me blend it you saw me work with it I love the lip so yeah very happy with everything if anyone from the huda beauty team is watching thank you so much for sending these for allowing me to try them and i hope you guys found this video helpful if you do like these style of videos where i try new makeup with you guys let me know in the comments and i will definitely do more yeah i'm gonna head off guys just a final look see you in my next video